Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. This is an interactive video lesson about something called dependent events. In fact, trying to find the probability of dependent events. So for the first page, you're going to take notes with me. And then you have a chance to pause the video and try a problem on your own. And at the end, you can see how you did. So what exactly is a dependent event? Well, a de dependent event is just the opposite of an independent event. Where a dependent event is an event that is affected by the previous event. So let's write that down right here in this blank space. So it, it's an event that is affected by a previous event. All right. So let's just jump into the first problem here and I'll show you how to find the probability of a dependent event. So it says the names of six boys and eight girls from your class are put into a hat. What is the probability that the first two names chosen will be both girls? All right. So let's actually kind of role play here. Let's actually draw a hat. All right. So there's the hat. And inside the hat, we know we're going to have six boys. So we'll say 6B for six boys and then 8 G for eight girls. All right, so again, imagine we have the, the names of six boys in the hat and also eight girls in the hat. And now we wanna know what's the probability that the first two names chosen will be both girls. So what I want you to do is I want you to draw a line there and then times another line. Now, the first line is gonna represent the first probability. So think about it, if there's six boys and eight girls, all together there's 14 students. So that goes on the denominator. And we want to know what the, what's the probability of first getting a girl, right? Well, there's eight girls, so that's going to go on top here. All right. Now, here's the part that makes it dependent, right? So I take one of those names out. And now there's seven remaining. And here's the first girl name we took out, right? So notice how that now changes the probability of the second event, right? It's dependent on the first one. So now there's only seven girls left out of 13, because six plus seven is 13. So do you see how the second event is impacted by the first event? That's what makes it a dependent event. So finally, to get the probability, you just multiply the two fractions. So eight times seven will give us 56. And then 14 times 13 will give us 182. And one thing you can do is anytime you have a fraction that can be reduced, so for, notice, for example, eight fourteenths I could reduce down to four sevenths. I definitely recommend doing that. It'll save you some time. So now if I do four sevenths times seven thirteenths, I'll get a more simplified answer of 28 over 91. So there's a 28 over 91 chance of getting a girl's name and then another girl's name. All right, so why don't you now pause the video and try the your turn now problem. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do this practice problem. So the problem says an animal cage is holding eight black cats and nine white cats. None of them want to be in there. The cage door is open slightly and two cats escape. What is the probability that one of each color escapes? Note, write the answer in lowest terms. So here I kind of drew a little diagram where we have a cage and 8B stands for the eight black cats and 9W stands for the nine white cats. So I want to know the probability of a black cat escaping first, and then a white uh, cat escaping second, or it could do either way. So the probability of a black cat escaping first will be eight, and altogether there's 17 cats, because eight plus nine is 17. So that's the probability of a black cat escaping is eight as 17. So now though, one of these is now gone, right? Because the black cat escaped, and now there's seven black cats left inside the cage. So now we will know the probability of now a white cat escaping, right? And there's nine white cats still, because none of them escaped four, out of now 16. So finally, to get the probability of uh, one of each cat escaping, you now multiply. So eight times nine will give us 72. And then 17 times 16 will give us 272. But the direction stated that we want to have it in lowest terms. So if you notice, 
we can cross reduce the fraction, right? So we can make this a one and make the 16 a two. And that saves, uh, saves a lot of time. So now one times nine gives us nine and 17 times two gives us 34. So there is a nine and 34 chance that a black cat will escape and then a white cat will escape as the first two cats to leave the cage. All right, how'd you do?